Here you are. Good morning. How are you doing on this wonderful Wednesday morning? What is the temperature? 13 degrees. So it must, go, must be a warm day coming up. So I'm looking forward to that. And it's, it's getting there. So today is the last day of March. And tomorrow, April 1st. So that is really important. They're going to have April Fool's, but you cannot really do much because they, you can't see anybody. So there we go. But it is a wonderful morning and the morning blessings is out today. So let's get it. Let's get it going and let's see what we can do with that. So today at this time, when we look out, we will see this wonderful world in front of us. We're going to see this beautiful and amazing world. And that is one of the things we have to remember. So, what was your greeting to self this morning? My greeting to self was, here you are. You are absolutely amazing and stunning. So, I'm looking forward to having that kind of a day because that was the day I predicted I would have. So, I am hoping that everything works out for that wonderful day that is before us. And all we can do is to take it in and enjoy it. So the morning blessing is coming to you that way. So what is your mantra for today? I am grateful for my improvements. I'm grateful for all the improvements in my life. This is the mantra for today on this wonderful Wednesday morning. So when things are not going exactly as you want it to go, remember you're grateful for all the improvements you have made in your life. And this is what is important, that you know you are grateful and for all the imp wonderful improvements you have made. So as I'm standing here this morning, I am asking you to realize for your morning blessing, you have all you need. You have everything you need for you to be this amazing one. Hi, Don. Good morning. For you to be this amazing human being. So I hope, Don, you had a wonderful blessing to self. Mine was here, you are, you are absolutely wonderful. And then your mantra for today, I am grateful for all the improvements in my life. And this is what it is. You have to be grateful for the improvements you have in your life. And there is not anything you can say or do that will change this. And that is what is the most important thing. And then your morning blessing is that I have all I need. You have all you need. You don't need anything else. It, sometimes we forget what we need. The powerful thing about morning blessing is that it comes to you to inspire you. It comes to you to bring you back to the wonderful person you are. It comes to you to remember what it is you wanted all along. What were you looking for? It comes to you to remind you that yes, you have all you need. The morning blessings I bring to you every day is to inspire you, is to encourage you, to enlighten you, to pump you up, to educate you, and to accelerate you, to make you know you can do this. You're amazing just the way you are. But today's morning blessing is to remind you you already have all you need. Sometimes we stand there and we're wondering what it is we can get in our life again. What do we need in that wonderful life of, of ours? Forgetting all the things we, we already have. Sometimes we don't keep track of what is happening to us. We don't realize when something fabulous and great is happening. We don't because we are so busy wanting more. We, so, we need more. But we already have everything we need. And sometimes it takes a while for us to come to our senses. So as you guys know, I pray. I'm Catholic and I pray and I, I don't care what religion you are in, you pray. So one of the things that I did, I, when I pray, I, just, I was telling a friend, I pray hard, extremely hard. And then one day... I can remember doing that and it's months, it's maybe months or years, I can't remember, but I know I did it. And guess what? Today, I realized what I got into my life right now, I had asked for it. And I didn't realize, I asked for it, but did I stop to think when it would come? No, I didn't give it that thought, but I pray so deeply and so hard. When I pray, I love to walk. 
and pray because I need to feel it. I pray with passion and a lot of emotion. Sometimes to the point where I start crying for no reason at all. And it's not because I'm hurting, but it's because it has overwhelmed me. And then one day I was praying, good morning, Corinne, and I was praying and I said, God, you are there. So show me you are there. I know you are there. So show me, give me a powerful earth shattering sign that you are hearing me and you're answering my prayer. That was my request. Give me that earth shattering sign that you exist. Don't give me something that I, that I can figure. I am not sure where it's come, coming from. Shake me and give me something, Lord. Put something in my life that I will know it is from you and have no doubt that it came from you. So I put my prayer out into the universe. I love to walk around and pray outside wherever I am. I let it out. And I did that. And it happened, but I didn't realize it happened until this morning. I was doing my prayer and meditation this morning. As you know, I wake up at five, so I have all the time to take my time to do this thing. And all of a sudden, something just came to light. It's like, I, you know, they say they pull away the, the, the blind blinders from your eyes, the blindfold, and you suddenly see. Only this time it was in my brain. I suddenly realized oh, that is what you asked for. You wanted an earth shattering sign that I exist. You wanted that earth-shattering sign that I'm hearing you. And you got it. And you didn't know where you think it came from. And that was the question. And I had to talk, to, to, to talk this through this morning. So what my message, my morning blessing to you is that you already have all you need. We fail to look for it. We fail to really realize it. We fail to touch it. We fail to acknowledge it because we are so busy wanting more. We want more, but we, we're not looking at what has existed already. It might be a friend, that's somebody that's there for you. It might be somebody that's always there for you. It might be somebody that hears you, somebody that is insistent on being in your life and helping you. But you take them for granted. It's like the couch. You know, you come home and you know this couch is always here. I'm going to sit on the couch until somebody moves the couch. And then, then it's usually too late. So what I'm asking you today to do is to realize that you already have all you need. Take a little spin around and look at what you have. Look at what you need and say, but I have this. Are you utilizing what you already prayed for? Are you using it? The things and the, and the accessories or, or the people you wanted in your life or the gift, the special thing you say, give me more of this. You got it. Are you acknowledging it? Are you saying, I'm grateful for this person in my life? Am I great? Are you grateful for that? I didn't and I pray every day. And I didn't realize how earth shattering that that what I asked for is. It came like a tornado, but it arrived. And I asked exactly what I said. Give me something that is earth shattering, that I know it comes from you and I have no doubt that it comes from you. And he said, like the God he is, your wish is my command. He gave it to me and I couldn't see it. I only saw it today. So what I'm asking you, don't wait for you to get it in, the, in your face so you to understand it. Look around you. You prayed for a house, you prayed for this kind of husband, you came with this kind of friend, you wanted a super friend, you have it. I tell my friends every day, I have a, a, a friend that is just, sometimes she annoys me because she had a habit of telling me, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't bring that. If I'm traveling and I see something that reminds me of her. And one day I told her, you don't tell me how to spend my money. I had to shock her, I said, don't you ever do that again. So she stopped. But we have that relationship. When I mess up, she'll tell me the same thing, but she is valuable to me. And you meet people along the way that does that. You meet somebody that will do that. You ask for help. I asked for help and somebody showed up. So that is not only this. You asked to live in a certain country. You, you wanted to live in a country where there was peace and tranquility. You wanted a husband and children. You've got them all. Are you being grateful for them? They are annoying. My grandmother used to tell us that. When you are close, you're going to fight. And she said, if you think this is funny, she said, look at your tongue and your teeth. Who is closer than those two? Yet sometimes you bite your tongue. So there you go. 
So she said, much less a human being that is outside of you. Your tongue and your teeth cannot even agree all the time. They fight. They bite each other. And there you, go. there you are. So this was one of the examples she gave us. So what I'm saying to you this morning is look what you already have all you need. You have to recognize it. And, and give yourself a clap word today that you are here to hear this morning blessing. Because sometimes you might not be hearing it. And you realize you're still searching. So today when you search and you're searching, look around and say, who do I have? Who can I call? I, I belong to a group of people, the Movement Makers. Any one of them that called me and said, Tessa Marie, can you come in on my live with me? Sometimes I have left my lunch and, I, and everybody knows I like to eat. Shilling first, when we're hungry, we don't, we don't hear anything except we're hungry. So, and I've stopped my lunch to help her, not because I'm good, but because I know she needed support or he needed support. So that's what I'm saying. You already have support. You already have all you need. So stand up and demand it and take it. Don't be afraid to say, I need your help. And if you have it, use it. Because you already have those people in your life. You already have that car you wanted. Drive it. Appreciate it. Be grateful for it. It didn't come from, from, from nothing. And guess who? You stimulated the action to bring it together. So acknowledge that you already have all you need. Nobody else can do that for you. Nobody is coming to tell you, great, you have all you need. Can you see that? No. You turned this morning and there was somebody else in your bed or maybe not. But you had a warm bed. So you already have all you need. This is the beginning. When your foot hit the floor, you felt it. That's the beginning. You have nerves and you have sinew and you have blood flowing through your body. You already have all you need. Whatever you're asking for exists already. Some of it you cannot see because we keep looking for more. But take a breath today. Take a little minute today and acknowledge I have all I need. Just think of life without that person. Just think of life without those children. Just think of life without the annoying thing. Like my son will go out of his way to tease me. He will find something to tease me about. It's, it's like he has a job. That is his program. And, and then Jillian will be a different. Vanessa will, will antagonize me because she likes, she's more like me. So she will argue with me about things. And then my grandson tells me how much he loves me. And then he says, I keep coming to see you until you kick the bucket. And I'm going, really? That's how you're ending this thing. And I have these people. I have a new granddaughter that is just so much so full of herself, you wouldn't believe. So I have these wonderful people all around me. I have people that work and help me. And so I have all I need. So what it is do I really, really want? What I want is to recognize each and every one of you, especially those of you like Yoko and Corinne and Donado and all of you and Susie and Rose and all of you and Zan and all of you who show up in the morning. I have you. I already have all I need. So all I have to do is to come here and serve you. Give you your golden nugget. Give you your, your pearl. Ali comes from Iran and I know he wants to sleep. There's another lady that comes from China. And, and I know they shouldn't be up at that time. And I'm so grateful for that. So I have all of you. And that is what makes it important. So I come here purposely to give you a golden nugget. To find that pearl you so want. That you can take it and you can use it and you can share it. And then I come. And if you really, really are looking for something. You'll find that Canadian diamond. It's pink and it's rare. You can't find it anywhere else. It's not common. So this is what you do. I, I was listening to somebody's live last night and I was surprised. And when he said, do you have a golden nugget? And I'm saying to myself, wow. I was brought up to find my golden nugget. My parents told us we had nuggets of gold all around us. They told us that it's up to you, it's in your head, get it out of there and go make it happen. So this is what I'm trying to say. You have this wonderful life. You have this opportunity with all that it has been, the scare we are going through, there's vaccine, those who want it can have it. It's free. Some places I'm sure it's not so easy to get it, but we have all we need. We have food on the table. We have opened the fridge and there's stuff in there. So you have what you need already. So try to acknowledge them. It's no point you prayed for this beautiful this or that. 
I know you took it. It's like, you like, I like perfumes. There's no reason to wear perfume, but guess what? This girl is going to put it on because it's there. It is bottle ready. I'm not going to wait for when are we going to wait to use this? So look around you, put the clothes you have. My girlfriend and I always dressed up. Everywhere we are going, we dress up. And sometimes when we go to book club, they look at us like we're foreigners. But we, but we dress up because we already spend the money. Use your clothes. Don't wait for the world to open. The only thing we cannot go is go where we want to go. But we can go for a walk. You can put something nice on when you get up in the morning. Get prepared for the day. You don't know what this day is going to bring. Prince Charming might open the door and knock on the door. You don't want him to be disappointed, do you? So dress like you're expecting the day somebody at your door. I try, I've always been like that. In the summer, you'll see me with long dresses all the time in the garden. Because it's already there. I have it. I need to use it. Use your talent. God bless you with a talent. Use it. God, you were blessed with all of these little things that you can do. You can sew, you can knit, you can do. Use your talent. Cook somebody. A friend of mine is constantly bugging me because I'm always cooking. But I have to eat. So I have to cook. And, and he said, how come you're not this big? But I need to eat, so I must cook. I have a talent for me. I can look at flour and butter and I can make bread in Look at this flip. So that's the gifts I have. What are your gifts? Use it. Do something special this weekend. It's Easter weekend. Decorate an egg. I don't know. But you have these gifts. You have all you need already. So please make the effort to re realize what you asked for. You have received it. You want it to be on Facebook. You're on Facebook. You want it to be Instagram and doing wonderful. You got that. So you have all you need. What's your problem? Use what is already there because when you use it up, the cup becomes half full and then there's more, there's room for more stuff to come in. You know what I mean? So that is what I'm asking you guys to do today. You have all you need and you had asked for it. Whether it comes, like mine came like a tornado. Mine came earth shattering, whoa. And I'm saying, where is this coming from? I forgot I asked for it. So don't let that happen to you. Take my lesson and when you pray, I think going forward, when I pray from now on, obviously God is not, they say God has a sense of humor. I'm going to write down what I ask that man for, or girl, or woman, whoever this is, because somehow, some way, we, we so, we're so busy asking and demanding and requesting that we forget to acknowledge what is coming. And man, do we have what we need? Each of us has somebody in our life today we can talk to. Each of us, I can pick up the phone and I talk to my friend who lives three doors away and I can talk to her, I can tell her anything. And what we say to each other stays there. And sometimes we sit on the porch and the things we can come to our mind, we will have a bottle of wine just because it's okay. Then we'll go for a walk and come back and never tell people what happened on the walk, who we tease and what we do. But I have her and she knows she has me. There is no doubt about that. So I need that. No, I already have that. And I need to acknowledge it and tell her that I favor her, I love her, and I appreciate her, and I'm grateful for her. So these are the little things I want you to look for. Look for those small things, and look, we already have all you need. Are you having dinner this weekend? Are you going to have it alone, maybe virtual, but still, Praise God, you praise the, the element, praise the universe, whoever. You still have, you can still Zoom the dinner. That, you know, so don't tell me. And when you're realizing what you have, you are ready, you, you need, you're ready, it's there. Don't say so and so don't have it. That's none of your business because they might have something you don't have. You don't know what everybody has. You know, you can Zoom, you know, you can FaceTime. You know, my son will FaceTime and I'm happy for that. I am not questioning anybody who can't do that because maybe their son is right there. And that hurts when you know your son graduated on Wednesday and by Thursday he was in the United States of America and that is life and he was just 23. So this, this thing hurt, but you have to realize I can talk to him. He will call me just to tell me off for nothing or what did you do? But I love that. So I need that. No, I have it. So that earth shattering experience I was craving for, didn't know 
what it was i just said send me a oof shattering let me know it's coming from you make it so powerful that it shrugs my soul and it did so sending you light and joy on this wonderful absolutely wednesday morning i hope you got your golden nugget i hope you got your um your pearl that red black pearl and i most certainly hope that you got your pink Canadian diamond because it's an awesome day. It's Wednesday, it's going to be wonderful. And I, when I'm done here, I have to call a friend and then I might go for a walk. So I hope you have something stimulating. I'm supposed to be writing, to, I write every day. So I'm going to write some wonderful thoughts and to think of something for tonight. So tonight, I don't have to think. I'm going to push your number a little bit tonight. I'm going to ask you to tell me I have four words starting with C that are very important to me. Concentration, competence, confidence, and clarity. I love them. So we're going to talk about that tonight. So come there and let me know how you feel about them. Confidence, concentration, clarity, and competence. So sending you light and joy and have a wonderful morning. Thank you so much for coming today. And I do appreciate you for taking the time, all of you, Rosie and Yoko and Donato and Corinne. And let me see who else. I don't want to forget anybody. And Zan, good morning, Zan. Um, and Rose was there and who else? And Julian. I, okay. And who else? Oh, hey, hi, Chris. And uh, so we had a full house. Thank you guys for dropping in. This was Rosha. Thanks, Rosha, all the way from Iran. Woo! That's so wonderful. Donato was there. Um, and who else? Oh, we had a full, full house. It's so nice to see all of you and everybody saying hello to each other. And Dawn came from Kentucky. This lady, uh, this lady from China. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you guys today. And anybody who needs me today, I'm at your disposal. Not, not to throw away, sorry. I'll be there to help you, not to dispose of me. Bye.